a 14 inch MacBook Pro, 27 inch iMac, sea otter populations rising, tech analyst Ming-Chi Kuo predicts all this and more, except for the sea otters to be coming in late 2020 and into 2021 with a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Pro specifically coming out in quarter four of 2020 this year. You may have been hearing the web a buzz about this for the past week as Quo is well regarded for his reliability when it comes to rumors like this thanks to his connections to Apple's Asian supply chain. He also recently updated these rumors by saying that the production of them is not being slowed by the coronavirus. You can find a lot of channels speculating about these new devices, but I say, why speculate when you could edulate educate. There is one thing that connects all of these devices, as Quo reports, mini LED displays. I thought it might be worthwhile to look at what mini LEDs are and what they mean for the image quality of MacBook Pros specifically. LCDs or liquid crystal displays are the current standard for all our black mirrors. A liquid crystal layer creates images by blocking light from a source projecting into it. The rest of the light gets bounced around, lighting the pixels in your display. Put simply, your LCD screen is doing a very advanced form of shadow puppetry. There are two wolves fighting inside you. Nowadays, that backlight is coming from a bunch of light-emitting diodes, or LEDs, inside your TV. You can only put so many LEDs in a space before power consumption and heat generation become a concern. One LED has to provide more than one pixel's worth of light. If some pixels are supposed to be displaying black, but an LED is lit nearby, then some of that light is not going to be entirely blocked by the LCD, leading to what is called light bleeding. You will see this most prominently in stuff like movie credits. Long story short, the contrast, the difference between the brightest parts of an image and the darkest, are not as pronounced on an LCD LED screen. So here's a digitally enhanced version of me in high contrast versus a very low contrast. Mini LED aims to address the image quality by, as the name implies, making the LEDs smaller. We're jumping from several hundred LEDs in, say, a TV to tens of thousands. This sounds good, but there is another option. OLED, organic light emitting diode screens, have every single pixel lit individually and do not use a layer of liquid crystal. They consume less power and offer the best quality of all of the tech that we've mentioned so far. So why isn't Apple using that? Well, truth is they already have. The Apple Watch, recent MacBook Touch Bars, the iPhone X, XS, and X at XS Max, horrible name to say if you are a sibilant gentleman like myself, all have OLED screens. You may have noticed that these are all small products and that is because OLED tech is expensive. The iPhone X undersold according to Apple, so that may have caused them to reevaluate rolling out OLED screens across all devices. Apple made similar cost-driven decisions when they dropped the 17-inch MacBook because at the time, building a retina display for it would have been too pricey. That's a theory I talked about in our previous video. Go watch it and make a puppy smile. That's dumb. That's dumb. In my opinion, Mini LED is a sort of compromise technology between something that is slowly on its way out and the superior tech that right now runs a pretty penny. There are, however, concerns that the OLED screens can degrade over time. With extended use, certain colors can become more prominent, which is an issue that LCD screens generally don't have. The most recent 16-inch MacBook Pro is an LCD LED screen, so know that what you are getting from this new line is an improvement over what is currently on the market. Maybe that's Apple's thought process? Let us know what you think in the comments, and tell us about what you would like to see from these new rumored products coming out later this year and next. Leave us a like and subscribe to Techable for more videos like this one. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.